Welcome to Tunacheki's Africa True Story. The Center for Global Development recently published a new report, Atoms of Africa, discussing how there is more interest in nuclear energy among African countries than the rest of the world realizes. This begs the question, why Western powers don't want Africans to harness nuclear power? Scientists who authored the report, Atoms of Africa, said new nuclear technologies can accelerate development and solve fears like meltdown and nuclear weapons. Without the United States, EU, and international financial support for nuclear projects in the continent, African governments have been left with no choice but to partner with the likes of Russia and China. Africa has 1.2 billion people in 54 countries living on 12 million square miles. The economies of these countries are hobbled by general lack of energy, which results in slow growth and unfair competition with the rest of the world. Almost 90% of energy currently used in Africa comes from coal, oil, and gas. According to the International Energy Agency, 625 million people in Africa do not have access to electricity, while another estimated 730 million Africans use dirty and potentially hazardous fuels to cook. The energy per capita electricity consumption in Africa is less than 350 kilowatts per year, while in America they average around 1,200 kilowatts per year. So, does this mean Africans don't deserve a good life? Because it takes about 16 trillion kilowatts per year to eradicate poverty in Africa. That will be hard to do without ramping up nuclear energy. By denying Africans this nuclear power, the West is indirectly suppressing development in Africa and leaving it dependent and easy to control. But there is good news. South Africa is currently the only African country with a commercial nuclear power plant, but also Egypt, Ghana, Kenya, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria, Sudan, Tunisia, and Uganda all are planning nuclear power programs aimed at strengthening and building capacity across the African continent for the planning, development, and management of nuclear power infrastructure and its related programs. The Atoms for Africa report goes through the African continent country by country, reactor design by reactor design, strategy by strategy, how nuclear could alleviate some of the worst problems in the most energy poor regions in Africa. Please find the report in the descriptions below. We promise you it is worth the read. With the help of Russia, South Korea, and China, Africa is destined for nuclear power. It's just a matter of when and not how. So hear what Ugandan President Yuweri Museveni has to say about nuclear power for Africa. I want to inform this Security Council that Africa is interested not in nuclear weapons, but in nuclear energy. The reason we are interested in nuclear energy is that if you take all the rivers in Africa, the total capacity of the hydropower there is about 300,000 megawatts. We are going to be 1.3 billion Africans by 2020. Now, if you take the United States, who are only 300 million people, they are now using 1 million megawatts. But all the rivers in Africa have got a potential of only 300,000 megawatts. Even if all the sites on the African rivers were developed, we would not have enough electricity to support the Africans. Unless, of course, you say that it has been scientifically proved that Africans don't need electricity. Do you know of an African story that needs to be heard? Please let us know in the comments below.